this creature, known as the ultimate survivor on Earth, simply refuses to die. Scientists have boiled it in water, frozen it in liquid nitrogen, dried it under scorching sunlight, and even shot it out of a gun. Yet, nothing seems to harm it. It can withstand the crushing pressures of the deepest parts of the ocean. It can survive hours of exposure to the intense radiation near a nuclear reactor. It can even endure the vacuum of outer space. And if that were not enough, it could have survived all the major mass extinction events on Earth. Commonly called the water bear, its scientific name is tardigrade. For years, how this tiny creature could survive such extreme conditions remained one of science's greatest mysteries. Some even speculated that it might be an alien life form, arriving on Earth from space. But now, scientists have started to uncover the secrets behind its incredible survival abilities. What they have found could one day help us make human cells more resilient, maybe even tough enough to survive long space missions. So what exactly is a tardigrade? How does it survive in such harsh environments? And what can humans learn from this tiny, indestructible creature? Let us explore these fascinating questions in this video. Hi friends, welcome to another video from Science Simplified for All. Tardigrades are tiny creatures, less than a millimeter in size, and barely visible to the naked eye. They have eight tiny legs, each tipped with claws, and a small sucker-like structure where their mouth is located. While they do not have eyes like ours, they possess two light-sensitive eye spots that allow them to sense and respond to light. Tardigrades can be found almost everywhere on Earth. They thrive in wet, moss-covered rocks and lichen-filled environments, surviving by sucking the juices and nutrients from mosses and lichens. These little creatures are completely harmless and pose no threat to humans. In 1773, a German zoologist named Johann August Ephraim Goes was the first to discover these creatures. He called them water bears because of their bear-like movement under a microscope. However, at the time, no one knew about their incredible ability to survive extreme conditions. This remarkable feature was discovered almost by accident. When exposed to harsh conditions, tardigrades shrink dramatically into a tiny barrel-shaped form. This state is known as the tun state. The discovery of the tun state happened in a lab where tardigrades were being studied. Someone forgot to add water to the container where they were stored, and it dried out completely. Initially, the researchers assumed the tardigrades had died, but when they looked under a microscope, they noticed that the creatures had shriveled into tiny barrel-like forms. Out of curiosity, they added water back to the container. To their amazement, after some time, the tardigrades gradually returned to their normal state. This was the first time scientists realized that tardigrades could enter such a unique survival mode. They named this state the Tun State, a term that has been used ever since to describe this incredible adaptation. In the beginning of this video, we discussed various extreme conditions that tardigrades can survive. The secret to their resilience lies in their tun state. Once in this state, these creatures can withstand temperatures as high as 150 degrees Celsius. To put that into perspective, water boils at just 100 degrees Celsius. At the other extreme, tardigrades in the tun state can survive temperatures as low as minus 270 degrees Celsius, which is colder than liquid nitrogen and even close to the temperature of liquid hydrogen. Tardigrades can also endure immense pressures. For example, the pressure where the Titan submersible failed deep underwater was about 380 bar. The pressure at the deepest part of the ocean, the Challenger Deep in the Mariana Trench, is around 1,100 bar. But tardigrades in the Tun State can withstand up to 6,000 bar, more than five times the pressure in the deepest oceans. When we say they can withstand such harsh conditions, it means that even after being subjected to these extremes, tardigrades can return to their normal active state once favorable conditions are restored, as if nothing ever happened. In these conditions, where most organisms would perish, tardigrades survive without losing their life. This is why they are considered the toughest creatures on Earth. Beyond these challenges, 
tardigrades can also resist extremely harmful radiation. For reference, the lethal dose of radiation for an average human is around 5 to 10 gray, known as the lethal dose 50 or LD50. However, tardigrades in the tun state can survive radiation doses up to 5,000 gray, which is 1,000 times the lethal dose for humans. In one experiment, tardigrades were exposed to the vacuum of space for 10 days. In space, they faced not only the vacuum, but also intense challenges like UV rays from the sun, solar wind, and cosmic radiation. Despite these extreme conditions, when tardigrades were brought back to Earth and rehydrated, they returned to their normal state. Amazingly, they even reproduced after surviving this ordeal. This experiment demonstrated that tardigrades could potentially survive scenarios like hitching a ride on a meteorite and traveling through space. This ability has led scientists to speculate about panspermia, the idea that life could naturally travel between planets. When large meteorites hit Earth, they sometimes eject rocks into space due to the impact. In fact, we have even discovered a rock on Earth that was ejected from Mars millions of years ago. Now, imagine a rock ejected from Earth with tardigrades clinging to it. After traveling for years or even centuries through space, if that rock were to land on another planet, those tardigrades could potentially become the seeds of life there. This process, where life travels naturally from one planet to another, is known as panspermia. Some scientists even speculate that the seeds of life on Earth might have arrived in this way, carried here by meteorites from other planets. For tardigrades to enable panspermia, they would need to survive the intense impact forces when a meteorite hits a planet. To test this, scientists designed a special experiment. Tardigrades in their tun state were loaded into a specially designed bullet and fired using a high-speed gun. The bullet travelled at a speed of 900 meters per second, faster than a typical bullet, which travels at about 750 meters per second. Remarkably, the tardigrades survived the extreme impact at this speed. In summary, Extensive experiments have demonstrated that tardigrades possess extraordinary toughness, making them one of the most resilient life forms known to science. How tardigrades survive such harsh conditions has puzzled scientists for years. While some bacteria can survive temperatures as high as 100 degrees Celsius, surviving at extremely low temperatures is far more challenging. When temperatures drop below 0 degrees Celsius, the main problem for living organisms is the water inside their cells. In most organisms, about 60% of the body weight is water. At sub-zero temperatures, this water begins to freeze. And as we know, water expands when it turns into ice. This expansion exerts pressure on cellular structures, causing irreparable damage to the cells. However, when tardigrades enter the tun state, the first thing they do is drastically reduce the water content in their cells. They expel approximately 95% of the water, which causes their bodies to shrink into their characteristic barrel-like shape. By removing most of the water, they prevent the formation of ice crystals inside their cells, thereby avoiding the damage caused by freezing. However, reducing the water content in cells brings its own set of challenges. Without water, cells cannot carry out their normal functions. In the tun state, Tardigrades slow down all the cellular activities drastically. Their metabolism rate drops to just 0.01% of the normal rate, essentially putting them into an energy-saving mode. Another major problem caused by dehydration is its impact on the structure of proteins. Water plays a critical role in maintaining the correct shape and structure of proteins, which is essential for their function. When cells lose water, the structure of proteins becomes unstable and even the DNA structure can be affected. This leads to various types of permanent damage, which is why no other known organism can survive after losing 95% of its cellular water. To overcome this, tardigrades produce unique proteins and sugars when they enter the tun state. These compounds, recently discovered by scientists, are unlike anything found in other organisms. They form a protective coating around proteins and DNA, preventing their shape and structure from being disrupted. In simple terms, these special compounds prevent the damage typically caused by dehydration, enabling tardigrade cells to survive even extreme water loss. This remarkable adaptation is the key to how tardigrades endure extreme dehydration.
Similarly, when the cells of most organisms are exposed to radiation, the DNA gets damaged, which is the primary cause of cell death. However, in the ton state, the DNA in tardigrade cells is protected by the unique compounds we discussed earlier. These compounds not only shield the DNA from radiation-induced damage, but also play a critical role if any damage does occur. They hold the broken pieces of DNA together, preventing them from drifting apart until the damage can be repaired. Tardigrade cells also possess a highly efficient DNA repair mechanism that can quickly fix radiation-induced damage. It is this combination of protective compounds and advanced DNA repair capabilities that allows tardigrades to survive extreme conditions. Interestingly, scientists have extracted these unique compounds from tardigrade cells and injected them into the cells of other organisms. The experiments showed that the recipient cells gained increased resistance to harsh conditions. Similar results were observed in experiments involving human stem cells where the cells became more resilient after being treated with these compounds. These findings hold immense potential. By enhancing the toughness of human cells, we could improve our ability to survive extreme environments. One of the most promising applications is in space exploration. Using these compounds, humans could be better equipped to endure the harsh conditions of space, enabling longer and safer space missions. Moreover, if humans could mimic the tardigrade's ability to significantly reduce their metabolism and enter a hibernation-like state, it would revolutionize long-duration space travel. These adaptations could drastically reduce the resources needed for interstellar missions, making the dream of traveling to distant planets much more achievable. Even with all these extraordinary abilities, scientists are still unsure how tardigrades developed such unique survival mechanisms. Looking at their natural habitat, Tardigrades rarely face the extreme conditions they are capable of withstanding. As a result, these abilities do not seem to offer them any specific evolutionary advantage in their day-to-day -day lives. The one clear benefit is their ability to survive in moss and lichen-filled environments, which often dry out completely during droughts. By entering the ton state, tardigrades can endure these dry conditions and revive when moisture returns. Some scientists believe this adaptation to desiccation may have incidentally led to their ability to survive other extreme conditions, such as radiation and freezing temperatures. In this view, these additional advantages could simply be side effects of their desiccation survival mechanisms. Through this video, I hope you have gained an understanding of how some of the toughest creatures on Earth survive even the harshest environments. Such resilient organisms also open up fascinating possibilities, like the concept of panspermia. Who knows? Tomorrow, if we explore Mars or one of Jupiter's moons, we might just find tardigrades waiting there. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to like and share it. For more such videos, please subscribe to this channel and enable the bell icon for updates. Thank you.